here. We're going to flash the firmware of this thing with uh, with TNT Lite 2.0. So first thing you have to do is hold the up volume, turn on the power. And when you do, the lovely screen comes up. Notice at the top it says detect a recovery key pressed, booting recovery kernel image. Now I've got clockwork installed. So we're going to select using the volume keys. Um, install zip from SD card because uh, I put the image that I want to apply. It says choose from SD card, which is what we're going to do. I put it in the download folder. So we'll go here to download using the up and down buttons here at the top for the volume, the volume buttons. Go to download. And I'm using update.zip. So we hit the home key, which is what you use to select. It says confirm install. This cannot be undone. We'll scroll down and say, yep, do it. And go. And see, so notice at the bottom, it says it's uh, doing its thing. And so we'll watch it here for a few moments. I know, not the most exciting video in the world. Um, I will say, though, that... Uh, of all the images I've tried, I've tried all the major ones. Uh, this is my favorite. Um, I have it installed on mine, which is right over here. This is my G-Tab. The other one here is my wife's. She's uh, wanting to have one that's similar to mine because she saw how responsive and fast and awesome mine is. So let's see here. This is where I'd put in like some, you know, fun music or something. All right, so install from SD card complete. Now at the very top, we're going to use the back key and we're going to reboot. Let's see what happens. Looking good. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? I'm in trouble now. This is good. You're going to see what happens. I forgot to wipe the data in the cache. So this may not be very good. But that was very dumb of me. Sorry for the reflectiveness. I mean, the screen is so reflective. I tried to find a spot in the office here that didn't have anything too ridiculous. Of course, you see the ceiling fan <laughs> right up there. But uh, no matter what else I did, it, it you could just see too much of stuff that doesn't really matter. So I'm trying to use camera angles that don't have my hand or my face in it, which is the only reason why we're not straight on. Obviously, if I'm uh, shooting at night, which I normally am, um, there's not as much ambient light around here, and so it doesn't reflect as much, but shooting during the day, there's just no way around it. So the first time you flash one of these images, it does take a little bit longer to uh, boot up than normal. Uh, my, my pad, my G-Tab, uh, loads up pretty quickly. All right, here we go. So her her G tab came up pretty nicely. Notice it didn't come up with uh, this is interesting. Notice that it didn't come up with the uh, the brand new install. Um, what's it called? The first run uh, wizard thing. Let's see what happens with her email. I'll choose Gmail. Oh, you know what? Look at this. It picked up her Gmail. That's pretty cool. Now let's see if it picked up her. Yeah, see, it's one of her to sub the accounts there. That's fine. That's actually a good thing. Let's see what else happens here. Um, oh, I know what it was. The calendar. So that's interesting. 
picking up all her Google Calendar stuff. So this is very interesting. This is a little bit different than from what I expected. Normally what would happen is, uh, normally when I would go from different firmware versions, if I would forget to erase the cache and the, and the uh, user data, it would come up with all kinds of errors and problems. And it still might. I mean, you know, it's only been on for like not even a minute. But right now it seems like it's picked up her Google, her Gmail account. And it's picked up her calendar. I wonder if her contacts are in here. I could see there is contacts. Yeah, so her contacts. So all her Google contacts are in here too. Very interesting. So this is an atypical install. This is not what you would normally see on an install uh, at the end here because I didn't erase the the cache and the user details. Normally you'd have to go through the uh, the wizard at the very beginning and then that would set up the different accounts. Hers is already set up. Um, honestly, I don't know that I will leave it this way. I may go ahead and erase the cache and user data and then go through the whole thing all over again, but we'll see. I mean, you know, now it just makes it a little easier for her to transition into this new image because now she won't have to install everything, all her, or not install, but put in all her user data and stuff. So maybe a good thing, we'll see. Um, when and if that changes, I'll definitely report on that, but uh, there you go, I just uh, put a, Put a new image onto the GTAB. It's that easy if you've got Clockwork Mod. Um, I, I can't stress enough just how awesome this tablet is, especially with all these different firmwares we've got and the ability to flash between them so quickly. Another thing with Clockwork Mod that is really nice is you can also back up your images. So you can go back and forth between different images uh, at will. And it uh, you know, takes a couple minutes to restore and back up. but you know, going back and forth from one image to another is super easy. So if you really want to try all of them, you can. And then once you pick which one you like, just restore that one and stick with it. So anyway, this is Edge. Uh, have a good one.